Okay, so today we're going to continue this fun subject, which is toys that teach. And this is the life cycle of a honeybee. Again, it's from Safariology, one of my favorite companies that's making toys. I bought this from Amazon at full price. And this is for ages four and up, and the company again, Safari Limited. And uh, it's a choking hazard for small children. You're going to want to supervise them. I think four years and older is okay but you still want to be with your child. And this is a close-up of the points uh, and the pieces that are included here. It has an egg, it has uh, the larvae, the pupae, and of course this honeybee, a single honeybee worker. So this is a female. And uh, on the back, there's lots of text. So if you have a little one that wants to read it, or you can read through it with them and get some more details about each stage of development. And uh, it's hand-painted, as are many of the things that are coming from Safariology. If you continue to watch this series, I'll be reviewing many, many kits from this company. So we start off the queen honeybee, which is not in this package, is going to lay an egg in a hexagonal cell. Now in this kit, the cell's being cut in half, so it's three-sided. And there's the egg on end sitting at the bottom of the cell. I hope I don't need to tell you this is not life-size. These are really tiny, about the size of a grain of white rice. It's going to stay as an egg for about three days, and nothing happens. The bees don't feed that egg. But once it hatches, then we have a larva. Now this larva is a little white thing. I call it a Michelin man when you're looking at in the side inside a cell here. And it's being fed royal jelly, and it's going to stay as a larvae for about seven days. And then as it grows bigger and bigger, it turns into pupa, and that's when it gets uh, capped off there. So the bees will close it, up, close it up, it'll have a little cocoon around it, and it doesn't require any more feeding while it's in the pupa stage. And it'll stay that way for about 11 days. This thing is very detailed. I like that it's translucent, that's true to life. But of course, as it matures in that cell, it darkens up, the eyes darken up, and all the colors and hairs come into play. When it hatches out, that's 21 days after that egg has been laid, just like a chicken egg. When it hatches out, it's fully grown and ready to go. You really don't see baby bees. They're full grown when they come out and they chew themselves out of their cell. The wings are kind of flexible, they're translucent. There's a double set of wings because it is a honeybee. Six legs and in the front here it looks like they've got the tongue really sticking out there. And you have the antenna, you have the eyes, compound eyes, and there should be three acilla on the head here which are the little eyes in between the big eyes. And I don't see evidence of that here. I also see that the antenna are continually arced. If you really look at honeybee antenna, they have an elbow to them. So there's a nice sharp bend and they use that to smell and to communicate with each other and touch each other because they're communicating in complete darkness. If you look at the abdomen, I like the segments here. If this were a wax building bee, you would see um, in that phase, you'd see little, little bits of wax sticking out between those uh, abdomen segments and they would use that to build comb. So the kit's kind of cool. There's stuff that's missing that I think should have been included. Queen bee for one. There is no drone, which is the male bee, and that would be interesting to have. But you know, as a very basic educational kit to introduce your child to the stages of growth and development of a honeybee, I think it's pretty good. This thing is under $10. So we're going to continue to get these kits. I'm going to continue to review them. I'm very happy with this series because in the end, when we get them all together, I plan to mix them up from a lot of different species and let my grandchildren tell me which eggs go with which species and so on. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.